a safe, convenient, and responsible way to dispose of unused or expired prescription drugs. National Prescription Drug Take Back Day was today. The Elks Lodge and Billings offered folks a chance to keep their prescription drugs off the streets. The annual Prescription Drug Take Back Day offers a safe place to dispose of unused medications. People at the Elks Lodge had filled seven boxes seen here by noon. This event keeps pounds of medications off the street and out of our waterways. We acknowledge that uh, uh, opioid addiction is, uh, is uh, a growing problem uh, uh, around the world, in the United States especially, and we see that uh, uh, unfortunately growing in the city of Billings. So really, uh, you know, we are doing our part to, uh, to diminish the uh, demand for uh, opioids here in, uh, in Billings. And again, the Prescription Drug Take Back Day is a nationwide event every year. The Take Back Day collects literally tons of unused medication. About one million adults have been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a disease of the central nervous system. Today in Billings, hundreds came together for Walk MS to raise money for research and support of those suffering from MS. Q2's David J has more from the Walk at St. John's United. Zoe, this is the wall of hope here. They're going to be hanging this banner up at different events for MS. And family and friends sign it with messages of hope and love and support for different people going through MS. And joining us right now is Laura Wade, who has uh, some personal touch with this. And Laura, this banner and all these messages mean a lot to you. Yes, they do. Um, I've lived with MS since 1987. And they started the wall of hope, I think, in the late 80s. And it's just great the next year to go back back and see a lot of the repeat people coming out to walk and support us. It's one of those things you've got to visualize it or see it and experience it to realize how the community is really behind us. And, it, and that's one of the messages for all of us living with MS is there's so much hope out there. We're never alone. But when you experience it and see that, oh, there's 700 people out here walking for you and for me today. That's a tremendous boost of hope for us. And how about the awareness side of things? What do you want people to know about uh, MS? We're still an active part of the community. We have limitations, but we just figure a new way out to do something. And that's why the wall of hope. There's nothing that you should say is out of your limits. Never give up hope on whatever you're doing. Never give up hope. Oh. Okay, great. That That is... Uh, Laura Wade, uh, she's uh, out here at the uh, MS Walk where they're 700 strong out here walking around the St. John's uh, United campus. That's the latest from out here. Zoe, back to you. All right, thank you, Dave. And today's walk is the first of four in Montana. Next weekend, Walk MS is in Bozeman, followed by Great Falls and Missoula. Well, the Great American Cleanup is the number one cleanup effort in the country. Those involved call it the feel-good event of the year. Many dropped off bags at the community center after picking up trash around Billings nationwide. About 1.5 million volunteers in 20,000 communities participate in Great American Cleanup season during the spring. It's part of Keep America Beautiful and Bright and Beautiful is the group right here in Billings. And while the, the natural beauty in Montana may already motivate some to clean up. They are inclined to clean up on a daily basis anyway. Uh, but when there's an event like this, when everybody in the community can come out on the same day and feel good about themselves and the act of expressing their pride in their community, it's a really great thing. And Joni Tooley says last year the Great American Cleanup brought in nearly two tons of trash from around Billings. Well, also in Billings news today, the Montana Women's Expo was held at Metro Park. The expo is specifically geared toward women and their interests. Businesses and area organizations got a chance to show off their services to women in the community. Jessica Taylor owns Just Like That Fashion, a local clothing company that does all their work right here in Billings. She says the Women's Expo is great for ladies in the community. Oh my gosh, absolutely. It is fantastic to have a place where women can come together and just experience each other and have that moment with each other. You know, there's so many things that we don't get to do together and to have that day to spend and talk and interact and show what we've got for each other is super exciting. 
In other news, the YMCA gave families a chance to see what it offers for staying fit and active during the summer today. Healthy Kids Day showcased the big gym and the rest of the facility in downtown Billings. Now this event was held at YMCA's across the country. Kids can sign up for 11 camps and also learn something about science, technology, engineering and math. The event promotes healthy living, fun and getting families together. Kids kind of have that unity with their families and get to be, become a part of health with their families um, and moms and dads and stuff. Get them active with some of our classes going on today. It gives families a chance to come in and really see what the Y is all about because we are so much more than just a swim and gym here at the Y. The Y also had experts talk about water safety, bike safety, and selfie safety. Visitors to Montana's oldest state park will see a whole new look this summer as Winston Greeley shows us in this week's outdoor report. The Lewis and Clark Caverns will open May 1st with brand new lights. For 80 years, visitors to the Lewis and Clark Caverns have viewed the caves in the yellow hue of incandescent lights. Maybe go up into this alcove and just see if it'll like diffuse out from there. Oh. Now, visitors to Montana's oldest state park we'll see the caverns in a whole new light. We haven't changed it to the point you're gonna lose what you loved about the cave, but it's still gonna be a brand new experience. So we're hoping that people come in here and actually have that moment of like almost seeing the cave again, but for the first time. This winter, the Lewis and Clark Caverns underwent a massive lighting renovation, adding new LED lights and handrails. We've basically tried to highlight a lot of features that staff and people in house have known about and realized were exceptional features in the cave, but they haven't had lights on them, so it's been really hard to share those with the public until now. One of the big drivers for this renovation was creating a safer cavern tour experience. So safety was a major concern with us to actually get these lit handrails through the whole cave and provide better lighting for where your footing is and all and just have people feel more secure. These new lights will also save money on maintenance and electric bills. They're estimating up to 60% um, power bill savings, so that's really exciting. And even if you visited the caverns before, these new lights will create a whole new experience. It puts the cave in literally in a better light, and that's just really nice because this is one of the most decorative caves you're going to see in the whole U.S., and it's right here in Montana, so that's pretty cool. I'm Winston Greeley. Out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks. Something I'll definitely have to check out. Well, stay with us. More to come on the 530 News. When the sun is out, motorcycles take to the streets. And after the break, we hear from a local group of riders spreading safety awareness. Later in sports, see how boxing saved this Butte girl's life and just how high it's taking her now. But first, let's say hi, say hi to our friend Rob over in the Weather Center. Well, it may not look like it right now, but we have a big spring storm system on the way and it will be impacting the Billings area later tonight. We'll tell you all about that with the rest of the weekend and work week Q2 storm tracker forecast in just a little bit. Stay with us. You're watching MTN News with Zoe Zandora, storm tracker weather with Rob Griggs and sports with Casey Conlon. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader.